What is going on, Crash Nation? Welcome back to another episode with your Corbett Nordiques. We are looking at our AHL team in the playoffs now. Nordiques, we had a magical run, just missed the playoffs. So we'll see what we can do with the Nordiques here in the second offseason. But before we get into that, I want to see what this AHL team can do in the playoffs. Move some things around, get the lineup looking all right. Okay, liking what we're seeing so far. Let's get a run going. Come on, people. What do we got here? We got uh, Toronto's AHL team first. Let's see how they do here. Game one, game two. Oof, 2 0 against them. Alright, here we go. Uh, Samuel Gerard, he's coming back. Don't need you. And there you go. We sweep the Marlies. 4 0 for the Halifax Highlanders' very first playoff series. Not too shabby. This AHL team is dangerous and deadly. Alright, now we got Buffalo's farm team. Rochester Americans next. Let's see what we can do against these guys. Ooh, one game apiece. Stolarz is now Hurts. Protsev. Prosetov. However you want to pronounce it. Is in now. Two games to one. Alright. How about if we go ahead these two? What do we got? Stolarz almost ready. And 4-1 series there. 8-1 and one through 9 games these playoffs. Man, oh man, this team is just tearing it up. Now we got Carolina's farm team. Charlotte. Alright, up one nothing. Stout. No, we're good. We don't need to view the draft class just yet. We got two we're looking for. Uh, Noel Dunlier. Injured. He'll be back soon. We're up 3 nothing. Oh, let's go. Can we sweep and go to the Calder Finals? Well, here we go. Come on, Highlanders. Let's go. Make Dud Flat proud. Alright, so we don't sweep them. But we win the next game anyway. 4-1 series win right there. Oh, uh, Holmstrom. He's hurt. He's almost ready to come back. Okay, we got the LA Teens farm team. One game apiece. Up 2-1. to 3-1. One. One. Oh, here we go. Can this be a tier? We're up 3-1 in the series. Only lost. Oh, three times these playoffs. That's nuts. Okay. Holmstrom, come on back now. You can play Hurts. The final game. Don't be... A uh, Nancy. Come on. Tyler Mott, 20 points in 18 games. Tearing up the AHL. Alright, first period. First Ontario, California. Borkstrom and Holmstrom. Oh, -ho. there we go. Second period, 4 nothing. Pulling in Holmstrom. Holmstrom playing hurt. Gets two goals. Oh, here we go. Ooh, tying in on Stolers. Oh, the LA Jeans farm team. Not putting up much of a fight. Highlanders are all over him. Dud Blatt showing him how to do it. Just give him the coach job. Or be the AHL owner. But we'll jump in here as we get to witness history. And Halifax Highlanders are going to win the Calder Cup here in their very first year in the AHL. What a performance from this team. Ontario looking to not go quietly putting some pressure on Ooh, big block there. There we go Islanders make sure you can get something done here done there Got on in the corner trying to kill some time pulling just gets it out smart play Not gonna argue with that. Just get it deep feel some clock Ontario Ooh, do this. Oh, oh, oh big stop big stop there. Nice job by Stolars and get the puck deep. Oh, makes one man miss. Throws it across. Pulling. Can't get a five hole. Trying to add on to the goals already. And back comes the rain. Trying to go wide. No, poke checked. Tyler Tanner Janot has it behind the net. Five, four, three, two, one. And there you go, your Hylifax 
Highlanders are Calder Cup champions in their very first year in the AHL. The young kids on this team have learned what it takes to win. Can they take it to the NHL level? Ontario Reign in disbelief. They got manhandled. They lose 4-1 to one the series. And we win the cup on home ice. Halifax. It's going to be one to remember, I tell ya. The rain. That's going to sting. Oh my goodness. What a performance from this AHL team. And the handshakes. Who we got? Bordstrom. Tanner Janot's the captain. Alright. McKeel Thomas. Getting some love from Geeky. Goldburn. I've heard of that guy before. Not Noah Dunlear. We're at number 31. Interesting. But Tanner Janot. Getting some love from the fans here. And he's going to be the very first person to lift the Calder Cup in Halifax. Tanner Janot. How you doing? Yes, he could be on the NHL team, but his overall was not good enough. So let's face it, he's AHL. But Noah Dunlier, we got four. Jonathan Marsha show. So let's see if he can be a huge fit for our NHL squad for a couple of years. He got some nice, nice bonus time in the AHL here. But what a beauty. What a bunch of guys coming together and making Halifax proud. And once again, for the last time, your Halifax Highlanders are Calder Cup champions. How about that? Alright. Well, we go forward, sim through, let's see. Colorado Avalanche. They win another Stanley Cup. My goodness. They're looking for a dynasty here. They beat Tampa Bay back-to-back -back years. Beat them in six this year. Vancouver Canucks went to the Western Conference Final. Wow. That is something else, I tell you. Alright. I don't know. Let's see. Look at the awards. Yep. Colorado, Tampa Bay, and St. Louis. And you got New Jersey won the President's Trophy. Interesting. Alright. Art Ross, Brad Marchand. Nathan McKinnon won the Heart. Adam Fox, James Norris, Lady Bing, Michelli. Uh, you guys will have to let me know who that is. I can't picture him off the top of my head in Arizona system. Uh, Nathan McKinnon, Gorgoriev, Vesna, and the Jennings. Jack Adams, Hardigan. Hey, Patrice Bergeron, another Frank G. Selkie trophy. The guy just knows how to win those. And awesome Matthews with the Maurice Richard. What a shocker, I tell ya. Alright. Well, year one is officially done. And we're going to be picking, oof, 15th. Alright. Don't know if we can move up. Or if it's worth it, too. It's a pretty deep draft class, so I think 15... You might stay where we are. Free agency, Thornton, Kessler, Ladd, Seabrook, nothing too major here. Everyone you expect. Pretty much everyone that's on the injured reserve in real life. Ryan Reeves retired. Irwin. Cracknell. Uh, what about goalies? Mike Smith. You'd think he would play one more game just to get that 300. Just to see him smile. Or shine. Like a boss. Alright, so we got the draft. Let's see if we can find our next centerpiece here. See what we can make up. What we can move at the draft. Okay. We got four second round picks. Four third rounders. Five. Five third rounders, two fourths. So we're definitely stocked up and spread some draft picks after the trade deadline. And 
We're going to shed some salary here. March went to the wild. And that'll probably be Janot's spot next year. Connor Brown. We thought about trading him. He's 29 years old. Uh, there's some interest in trade options here. But we might look at who's going to be in the free agency class before we move him. See if we can replace him in free agency. There isn't anything too out of our minds right now to really go ahead and accept a trade. Eh, it's a lot of second and thirds and some okay prospects. Nothing that's going to make your eyes stick out. Uh... Marsh, hmm. O'Rourke, Nashville is Tristan Jari, interesting, but yeah, but we're going to try and go for Jordan Stahl trade here, get move some veteran presence, Detroit gets him now, and we got our first selection here, we got Braden Yeager, center, interesting, he is ranked at 12, ETA one year. Then you got Callum Ritchie as well. Both X Factors. 65 points in 63 games. Two years, similar style to Claude Giroux. Top six. Uh, you got Will Ender there too. Otto Steinberg. Stenberg. I don't know if you want to pronounce it. Ah, uh, they're all. But you know what? I think we're going bright in the Aider. Honestly. Unless we can move down. Just a little bit, but. Uh, Callum Ritchie, though. He's another. He's a little bit bigger. Sitch, too. Ah. Uh, yeah, it's confirmed. He's only one year away. So you know what? Braden Yeager, come to the Nordiques. Alright, welcome to the Nordiques, Yeager. Second pick. Yeah, Luca Tijoni. And yeah, Owen Strom. Another center. Alright. We have another second round pitch here. We got. Scott Ratzlav. Uh, the Finn, maybe. PJ Forgione and Spearnier. 6'4, 205. X Factor. Yeah, we're going to give you a shot there, guy. Okay, and who else? What else are we taking? 6'5. Maybe, or, you know what, maybe we'll take the Vancouver Giant here, 6-2, right-handed shot, X-Factor, welcome aboard there, Mazden, Leslie, and, do we have another second rounder, yes we do, thought about trading it here, but we're going to hold on to this one, just for now, because, Carson Rickoff, he's top nine. Felix Nielsen. I feel like that might be who we're going with. Drapo. Another X Factor Finn. It's not really. I thought we would have more top six players. Uh Force Fall. Yeah, Dylan McKinnon, six foot three right handed shot, top six guy here. I'm going with him. Dylan McKinnon. Alright. Let's build this defensive core. Prospect pool. Uh Felix Nielsen in the third round. I think we're gonna go with him. We thought about going with him in the second round. He's four year ETA though. And then you got this Finn, Lenny, how many know? Naho. I'm a Naho. We're going to go with him. Instead, just has X Factor capability there. Uh, no. I'm not going to get rid of that third round pick. Yeah. 
Buford's Nielsen's still there. And you got Nitro Mayatovic. We took him with the Hamilton Tigers. He hasn't really thrown. He's still in the AHL like six years later, so don't really want to take him. Uh, Coulson Peter, Piet Petcher, whatever you want to call him. Uh, Miguel's a Brendan Friend of more. Doesn't look like there's anyone fully scouted anymore. So you know what? I think Felix Nielsen is a safe pick here. We'll do that. Alright. I got another third rounder. Uh, Kuznetsov. Schultz. Yeah. We'll go with the big power forward German there. Another third round pick. Oh. Yes, he Nermi. Six foot five. Fan D. No, he's only a top seven. Carson. Bjarnason. I probably butchered that name, but he is the top rated North American Stadium goaltender in real life. So we'll take him in the third round. We'll boost our goalie prospect pool there. And. Yeah. Clapperton. Just that last name. You think he's got to be scoring goals. So we're going to go with him as well. We make uh, a trade here with Anaheim. We'll get a third round pick for three picks this year. And a fourth. Sure. We already got quite a bit of draft picks this draft, so try and boost it for next one. Uh, Montreal trying to give us Phil Jessel. No, we're not going to do that. Montreal trying to sh shed some salary. And what we got with our next pick here? Nightingale. It's a lot of uh, American uh, Quincy. Is that Gennaro? He's 17 year old. Try and give him a shot. See if he can be a steal of a draft. Uh, Thomas Schaff. Schaff. Uh, Dmitry Lartinov. Could be something, but we're going to go with a top 60. Ooh, our defensive prospect pool will tell you. But this is interesting here. I wanted to decline it, but just to get Gallagher to play for the Nordiques instead of the Canadians was too tempting. Yes, he's got four years left at six and a half, but we have the salary space to do it. Only for a seventh rounder. I feel like this is a trade that will define this rival matchup here. So, you know what? I think we got to do it. What do you think, people? Brandon Gallagher is now a Nordique. Sorry, Montreal fans. But you just gave him to us. And there's your draft blast. And the second draft for the Nordiques. Let us know who you're excited to see. And who do you think will be the quickest Nordique out of this draft class? Uh, Alright, so now we got the resign. Some RFAs, qualify these guys. Lindblom. We got Costin, Lacombe. Lacombe, I'm excited to see what he turns into. Lorenz, not really. Bullen, qualify. Benson, qualify. Porche, qualify. Carlson, Holmstrom, Pervert, Wolanski, um, Tune, he can probably get gone. Uh, t -t 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 Stolars, he's probably gone. Montembo, Flurry. Ah, uh, that's interesting. He's still 86 overall, but he's probably going to drop. But, I don't know. I feel like we could let him retire as a Nordic. Even if he struggles, I think a backup option is uh, in his future. Forslane. How much? He wants 
5.5. Eh, I feel like for what he is, we could find a replacement in free agency. RFAs, no, we're good there. Butler, 66 overall. Alright, alright. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Uh, Flurry, he's going to come back. Alright, huge. Huge at Delhi. Huge. Patrice Bergeron, though. A heck of a year. And he barely had anyone to play with. Uh, but yeah, I think if we're struggling at the trade deadline, Bergeron is going to be a piece we're going to have to let go. He wants another cup. It all depends on how we do. How good of a start we can get. Maybe we trade him back to Boston. Let him retire a champion. It all depends here. RFA's all coming back on board. Hey, hey, what do you say? Maybe the Halifax Highlanders will be champions again in year number two. All right. Robertson, last one to accept. That's Jay. Yeah, we'll update it later. Don't you worry there. Assistant GM. We're on top of it. All right. Free agency class. William Nylander. Wants almost 12 million. We got to Foley, Tarasenko, maybe someone that we go after. Reinhardt. Uh, could be someone we go after. Reinhardt. Uh, uh, not really. Maybe Anthony Duclair. Someone that you replace. Brown. Yeah, Brett Pesci there. I feel like that's someone that we can get that will replace Forsling. Tara Vinen, another guy. I feel like uh, we'll replace Brown. We got Brady Shea. Uh, I feel like, yeah, we can definitely upgrade our defensive class this year. Shattenkirk, Mantha, LeBlanc. Uh, Tar. What goalies? Oh, we got Freddie Anderson. He wants almost nine million. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. But let me guys know down below what you want to see next week and see what free agency we should go after. Until then, people, we'll see you. Crash Course GM signing off. Bye, everybody.